Global warming is the most serious environmental threat facing the planet today. Its impacts are already being felt around the world. Scientists warn that if we allow global temperatures to rise more than two degrees, up to 30% of plant and animal species risk extinction. As one of the world's largest storehouses of carbon, Canada's boreal forest has an essential role to play in curbing global warming. But if the forest continues to be degraded by logging and industrial development, more and more of that carbon will be released into the atmosphere. Global warming is already having an impact on the boreal forest. Droughts are increasing, insect outbreaks are spreading, and bigger, hotter fires are raging. These impacts are causing greenhouse gases to be released into the atmosphere. It's a vicious circle. Global warming is degrading the boreal forest, and boreal forest degradation is contributing to global warming. But research shows that some areas of the forest are more resilient than others. Intact areas of the forest give trees, plants, and animals the best chances of adapting, migrating, and ultimately surviving in a changing climate. They also resist and recover from global warming impacts better than areas that have been fragmented by logging, roads, or mines. What's more, these large intact areas of the boreal are helping to mitigate global warming itself by absorbing carbon dioxide and slowing permafrost melt but these intact areas are disappearing. Logging has serious consequences for the climate. Industrial logging makes the boreal forest more vulnerable to global warming impacts, like fires and insect outbreaks, impacts that themselves cause greenhouse gas emissions. Logging also accelerates permafrost melt. When permafrost melts, large amounts of carbon dioxide and methane are released into the atmosphere. Logging directly removes carbon from the ecosystem. Approximately 36 million tons of above-ground carbon is removed from the boreal every year through logging alone. And it doesn't stop there. Logged areas continue to emit carbon long after the trees are gone, often for 10 years or more. As global temperatures continue to rise, all of these problems could culminate in a massive release of greenhouse gases, known as the carbon bomb. Because the boreal contains so much carbon, a widespread outbreak of forest or peat fires could cause a spike in emissions disastrous on a global scale. Greenhouse gas emissions must be drastically reduced and the last remaining intact areas of Canada's boreal forest must be protected from industrial development for the sake of the forest and for the sake of the climate. <laughs>